gypsies and welcome back to my channel happy Tuesday is it Tuesday yeah it's Tuesday happy Tuesday I've got a Dollar Tree haul here and I got one more in my trunk for tomorrow so uh, before I start though I just want to say that I am one subscriber away from nine thousand subscribers so if you're not a subscriber to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button become part of the gypsy family and let's take it to nine thousand because I have an awesome giveaway over here I've been gathering up stuff this morning and it's an awesome giveaway and I want to get that started so if you're not a subscriber please hit that button one away I've been looking at it all morning like it, it don't change it's not changing so anyway I've got a Dollar Tree haul here and yeah I think I got some wish list items in here, so let's get started. I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna save. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do these first. I got some books. Um, they had like now this store has not updated their book section in forever. So like every time I go in there, that's one of the things that I make sure to look at is the book section because I'm a book fanatic. Yeah, I still haven't started on my book for this month. I love books. I just don't read them. I don't have time. I'm going to. Anyway, these books were all best sellers. So I'm like, let me look through here. They updated some. They put a few books out and they put all best sellers out. So I'm like, let me look through here, see what I can find. So the first one was a Nicholas Sparks. Now I'm I don't know that I've ever read a Nicholas Sparks book, but I have heard that name time and time again, Nicholas Sparks. So I'm like, that's probably a good book, and it's definitely a bestseller because there's that big old sticker on the front. But the name of this book is Every Breath, and no idea what it's about, but I'm like, Nicholas Sparks, bestseller. It's got to be good. So it retailed for 20... I got them. I got them handy, guys. $28. Wow. While I'm at it, let's see. Let's see. Romantic tradition. Hey. Yeah, it sounds like it's like close to home, like the setting, like North Carolina, or although I live in West Virginia, North Carolina is not that far away. So anyway, yeah, grab that add to my collection and this one oh my gosh now this is really cool it says the best bear in all the world I don't know what it is but I saw it and I'm like you know what that's probably gonna be pretty cool so let me see it's a Winnie the Pooh collection part of a Winnie the Pooh collection so uh, it's a sequel featuring new stories from the hundred acre wood now this this book looks different than all of the other ones in there see here's this one and then there's the other one so this one looks different so I just thought this has got to be good like look at the look at though look at them look at them aren't they cool so it says just in time for the beloved bears birthday acclaimed Arthur Jean Willis Jack Kate Saunders la, 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 um, has a chart has a quartet created a quartet of charming new adventures for Winnie the Pooh oh my gosh let's see I didn't even flip through in the store guys let me just flip through and show you guys I should have got like more for a giveaway I really should if I go back and they have any more I will totally grab them because these are fantastic look at that oh my gosh the illustrations I absolutely love it so that is a real that's a really cool thing to find let me see what this retailed for if it's not covered let's see just out of curiosity, $21.99. Retail for $21.99. So isn't it great? I absolutely love it. So that was a good find, I believe. And then we have this one right here. This is Disney's Inside Out. Now, I didn't really realize it was created from um, a novel or a book. But it says bestseller. It says Driven by Emotions. I guess maybe that's the name of this. I didn't look at inside this one either. So this one is just like a regular book on the inside, but I just thought this would be really cool to have. It looks really cool. I've never saw the movie Inside Out, but I'm planning on watching it now so I can kind of get the gist of this book and <clears throat> what exactly that is. So does it say even? Let me just see. Like most people, 11 year old Riley is guided by her emotions, disgust, fear, anger, and sadness. So, is that what Inside Out's about? Like emotions? 
Yeah, that sounds really cute. So that's something I can watch with Jack. Okay, and then the last book I've got is this one right here. It's called The Grave Keepers. And I did read a little bit about this, like in the front cover. So it sounded like it was going to be a good book. And <clears throat> actually this day, I did have my glasses on, on my head. And I've been trying to remember to do that. So anyway, that sounded like a good book. So I grabbed it. I limited myself to four. <clears throat> Excuse me. Only because they didn't have more than four books, probably, that I wanted. Let me get a drink really quick. <clears throat> I think whistles when I take a sip. This is my Hydromate, the Hydro Jug. And a lot of people were asking where I got this bad boy. I, I was scrolling through um, Pinterest, one, not Pinterest, Instagram one day, and I saw... I saw these, and I'm like, I have got to have one. So I just clicked on the link in Instagram, but it's hydromate.com is the name of it. And they have some new colors out that are awesome. They're like um, mermaid-y looking, and they're really cool. Like, I've been really wanting to get another one, but I'm like, you don't need another one, girl. You got this one. So I'm going to hold off as long as I can. Yeah, so anyway, I was wanting to tell you guys, because I had several people wondering where I got that bottle. And also, um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, usually I post like all of my food, like the keto, um, mine versus the rest of the families, like what I eat compared to what they eat. I fixed up a little mine and theirs and I post all those on there. And cause I, as you know, I cook two meals, basically two meals dinners a day. So, and also I post uh, sneak peeks at my Dollar Tree hauls. So yeah, there should be pictures on there now because I'll have them posted before I post this video. So there'll be sneak peeks. Okay, let me go ahead and dive into this. This is a wish list item, guys. I really didn't think I was going to find these um, because I really wanted me and my daughter to have the hearts to do the Valentine wreaths. So I was super excited. There was only two left. So I got super excited when I saw them and I grabbed them up. So yeah, we are definitely going to be doing our Valentine Reese. I'm really, really hoping for this Sunday, um, cooking and crafting. I forget. I don't know. Like all of a sudden it'll be Sunday and I'll have forgotten all about it and don't have anything planned or anything. So yeah, I'm really hoping and I'm going to text her and try to remind her so we can get together on that and go down there and do these because... Valentine's, it's upon us. It's upon us, and there is no, like, regular holidays until then, so I'll, I'll go ahead and put it up. I don't care. I'll put it up, girl. I will. Okay, so I grabbed these. Um, it is just the heart doilies, and I got the big white one, and I saw that they have several different ones. They had red just like, well, I think they were the same size, but th they had red ones like this. I'm, I'm not going to say 100% they were like this, but I think they were. And then I got the white. And that's all I got. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, if you don't mind and you work with doilies, like, comment down below. I mean, I know you can obviously put them on your furniture, sort of like a little placemat, sort of, on end tables and stuff. But if you guys... Um, use these in arts and crafts or anything let me know because I'm just curious like what kind of things I could do with these like I think I will take one of these and the little um flowers that I made from Dollar Tree stuff which I've been meaning to show you guys and I keep forgetting um <clears throat> yeah I want to hold on let me grab those okay I'm back Qu quit putting it off right okay so here is the little Dollar Tree um, flower arrangement I made for my kitchen table. I have not put it on the kitchen table yet because simply because Jack's LOL glamper is still on my kitchen table from Christmas. I was kind of waiting until she got kind of got tired of it before I put it away. So I think it's probably about time though. I don't th I haven't seen her play with it in a while. So I, um, I'll be putting these on the kitchen table and I think they would look cute sitting like um, under like on top of one of these doilies and you get 16 in here so I know they're gonna be fairly thin but anyway yeah that's the flowers that I picked out for this and I think it turned out really cute like I, I like it I really like it and I think it looks really cute in this little bucket so yeah I, I've been meaning to show you guys and I always forget okay so let's see what else 
Okay, so I found some candles, and I've been seeing other people haul these. So let's say this was definitely another wish list item, and these are very pretty jars. Can you see that? I love the shape of these jars. They're really pretty. I did not smell them in the store simply because of the mask and all, and they have these these things that are kind of glue. I don't know if they're probably taped on, but usually if I can remove a lid and smell it through my mask, then I'll go ahead and buy it if I like it. But yeah, I couldn't even try. So I got the whole set just because they're really, really cute. Um, so I'm going to smell them right now. Although they'd be a really cute addition to a Valentine bag for the girls. Uh, this one's called Relax. Maybe I can smell it without my, let's see sun-dried linen that has got to smell good right sun-dried linen i don't even get a whiff of it i'm telling you maybe a little bit yeah yeah i think it smells good sun-dried linen and then this one look at that pretty teal color like when i see teal i want to give it to my daughter for her kitchen area this is magnolia and moss i don't even know how i think that would smell but It smells like something. You're probably thinking, oh no, here it comes. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, magnolia and moss. And then this one. Why did I take my glasses off? I can't see. Serenity Spa. This one smells good. I can't tell you what it smells like, though, but it smells good, and I love the purple jar. It reminds me of Easter so much. Easter, Easter, Easter. These are Easter colors, aren't they? And then the pink, uh-oh, I think this has some kind of fruity. I mean, I got a little whiff of fruitiness, wonderful fruitiness. Let's see. <laughs> Lava type? Lava type? I don't know, but definitely a fruity. I like it. I like it. I don't know what it is, but I like it. I may keep this one and give the other ones away in the other bags. Boom, baby. Another gift for the bags. Okay, guys. I have one more bag here, and I do have wish list items in it, and it feels rather heavy. First of all, I got, grabbed these for my son. Now, I did haul these the other day, but the bag I got, I decided to keep for um, Kristen's um valentine bag so it is the fried dill pickle potato chips they're ripples they're from uts and i bet they're awesome so i'll give them to him today and he can let me know how they are but fried dill pickle oh my gosh that reminds me of a recipe i want to try for keto in the little dash mini waffle makers you put cheese down and then and then pickle slices and then cheese on top and you do it all up and it turns out nice and crispy and it's supposed to taste like fried pickles which i cannot wait to try i'm getting this stuff today when i do my walmart click list order so i'm very excited about that okay i now know why this bag is so heavy i got two bags of great northern or um what are they calling it yeah great northern so these will be for the ham bone that i have left in the fridge Probably Thursday or Friday. I will cook them all day with that ham bone. Make a pone of cornbread and boom baby dinner. And I will have, I'm planning on making a new recipe, which is a creamy ham soup. Something like that. But I definitely have more ham that I need to use. So, yeah. But they're going to be having a soup style dish. So I thought I'd go ahead and make me one too. I know it has broccoli and ham. Heavy whipping cream and butter. And I don't know what else. But, like, that sounds awesome right there. Right there. So, there's those. And here's another big wish list item. And they only had two, guys. Ah! I was so thrilled to find these. These are great. I love them. And they seem like they're, like made so good they feel like so heavy duty compared to a lot of the dollar tree stuff it is a six cup muffin pan and i actually have some blueberry muffins in there right now i think i'm going to whip up a batch of those for the family and just you know for tonight or i don't know whenever they can have them and yeah so look how cute they are though aren't they adorbs Oh my gosh, I was so thrilled to find these. I grabbed them things up like you wouldn't believe. I couldn't believe they only had two left. Just like the heart wreath form. Super excited about that. 
super excited. And then I got one gift bag. It's a birthday gift bag, and it just blew me away. I glanced over at the birthday bags. You know I do. And the sparkle on this bag nearly knocked me over. <laughs> it says, wish big. Can you see this? It's almost like looking into like a, like when a TV goes off the air, like the static. Do you see what I'm talking about there? Like it is amazing. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. I just can't get over the sparkle. I mean, you just don't see sparkle like that every day. Right? Am I right? Yes. Ooh. I don't know. I love it. I love it. Okay. Next. <clears throat> what did I find? Oh. Let's see. I got one more of these. I was hoping to find one um, because I got... Did I, get, I got me one, and I got one for the Valentine giveaway, and I got one for my daughter. But then I was thinking I should have got one for Hallie because she likes adult coloring books too. So I was lucky enough to find another one, and this is the Love is in the Air coloring book. It's not with the Valentine stuff, although I feel like it should be because this is, if this doesn't say Valentine's Day, nothing does. So let me just show you a couple of these gorgeous pictures in here. There's just something about that coffee cup right there, like... Is that gorgeous or what? I absolutely love that. This has a lot of really, really, really cute pictures in it. I love them. I love them. Oh, my gosh. Like, love you to the moon and back, baby. Baby. Love grows here. Look at that. Isn't that great? I absolutely love it. So, there's... Love more. Love. I love you. All those flowers around that. Like, that would take a while, but when you got done, it would be gorgeous. <clears throat> I love that. So pretty. Anyway, yeah, I was able to find one more. And then I found this. I just thought this was looked really, really cute for Jack. It's a sticker by number activity book. So basically you find, like, here's the stickers. Like, they are almost like pu a puzzle. But every sticker has a number. And what you do is, like, you look at the numbers, like right there. Like one, two, you know, there's number one and you just go and find the sticker label number one and put it right there. So it's basically like working a jigsaw puzzle, but you know where the pieces are going to go. So I think that would be really cute for learning how to work jigsaw puzzles. And Dora the Explorer, it's just so bright and vibrant looking. And then it shows you like, or it has other little things. You circle differences in these and it just, it's a cute little activity book. Yeah, so, grabbed that. Are you guys in there? Hello? Okay. Look at these. Okay, this is something that I found. Hold on. Did I just get one? I think I just got one of these for Jack. I didn't get all, th I didn't, I think they didn't have three of them. So I just decided just to give one to Jack to color. Just, you know, when we're hanging out, watching TV. She's been loving that movie Zombies 2. It's not a scary movie. It's, um, it's just a little, it's a kid movie and they dance and stuff like that. So she's been loving that. So I figure when we're maybe watching that or just while I'm cooking in the kitchen, she likes to hang out in there. She could be doing this. And I like because they give you five markers instead of four, so you can make it extra colorful. It's the LOL, and they are just calling it a velvet art poster. So, that's really cute. She's going to like that. And then, I saw this new wall art, and I had not seen this before. It's from Main Street Creations. It's Main Street Wall Creations. Jumbo stickers, and it says, wait a minute, let me see what it says when it's all together. Oh, love, live, laugh. So it looks like this, and then here's the other half. And these are really easy to line up. You know, I've never really had any difficult with them, difficulties with them. But it's like, um, let me show you what it looks like. If you can see that right there, that's what it's going to look like when it's actually on the wall. I don't know if that focused in or not. I'm hoping it did, but it's going to be really pretty. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. I'm not sure. 
maybe up there. I don't know. I mean, I love hanging stuff like this on my walls. It's just, they're just so bright and colorful and beautiful. Love them. Okay. Next, two more things, guys. Okay. Um, this, this is the Crafter Square stencil wheel, and this is in hearts. So here's the different hearts that come with it. And I thought it's really pretty. Like all these different hearts. Let's see. How am I going to show you? There's one. There's one. Not sure what I'm going to use it for. No clue. But I'll take it with, put it with our craft, in our crafting room. That's my favorite, I believe. I love that one. And this one's cool too. I like that. I think that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, that was a wish list item that I found. So, I have several wish list items in here. Several. And then I got this book with the intentions of doing a giveaway. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway at the end of this video today because I already did the other giveaway, have the winner. And when I find awesome books that I have no interest in whatsoever, but I know a lot of you guys out there would find it super interesting and awesome, I grab them because for a dollar, you cannot beat this. I mean, this is a hardback book. It's beautiful. It says, the best of painted quilts hand-painted quilts, and other home accessories. So I flipped through this book in, in Dollar Tree, and I realized that at the back here, there's a pocket, and it has, like, patterns and stuff in here, all kinds of different different things. And, like, I don't really know understand what this book is, so I'm going to throw on my glasses really quick, read it. Let's see. There's 14 painted and quilted projects in here, 14 coordinated projects painted or not on non-fabric surfaces, full-size patterns, and complete quilting instructions. So, I guess this is some of the ones that's in there. First of all, this one is so cute for Halloween, and then, where's that one I just saw? Hold on. Wait. Oh, this one, look at that. Look at that rooster in the sun. Isn't that gorgeous? And the peacock, look at that. That's beautiful. So I guess there's like all of that. So I don't I don't really understand what a painted quilt is. No clue whatsoever. If you guys know, let me know. Comment down below. Let me know what a painted quilt is. Yeah, but it looks, it, it's a pretty awesome book. Um, let me flip through. I don't know. If there's anything to really see on a flip through, but there probably is. Oh yeah, it looks very illustrated in a lot of good directions, it looks like. And if you know what painted quilts are, you probably would have no trouble doing this, uh, especially since there's patterns and stuff. So, yeah. Wait a minute, I thought I, there was a, like a middle section. No, okay. So, anyway, yeah, I'm going to do a giveaway on this book. Um, I will go ahead and open up the giveaway today, right now, and if you want to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel, be 18 years or older, live inside the U.S. or Canada, and comment the words painted quilts. Yeah, painted quilts. That way, um, whenever I do the giveaway winner tomorrow, I will search search the comments, painted quilts, and right there is what it is, painted quilts. Don't do a plural or a singular. Do plural quilts. Put an S on the end because that's what I'll be searching, painted quilts. So if you want to win this book, just comment, painted quilts, subscribe, subscribe guys, guys, take me to 9,000 please so I can do that other giveaway. Anyway, there we go. There's my haul. Here's the giveaway. Enter if you want to. Enter at your own risk. No, just kidding. But enter if you want to, guys. If you're interested in stuff like that, you would probably love that book. Um, anyway, that's it, guys. And um, I don't think I have anything else to say. So subscribe. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. And yeah, see you guys next time, which will be this evening on my Kroger haul, Walmart haul. Bye!